Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here with some of the hottest hardware you're probably going to see this year. So that giant box on the right probably gives it away. There's the giant Threadripper logo right in the middle. Uh, AMD Ryzen Threadripper unlocked, unrestrained, uncompromising it says down at the bottom. But to the left we also have a couple of motherboards, a liquid cooler, a cooling kit for one of the motherboards, and a little tiny white box up top. I'm not sure what's in there yet. I'm going to open this stuff up because I'm sure you want to see inside just as badly as I do. So let's get going here. At the bottom of the stack, we have a new X399 motherboard from MSI. That's the MSI Meg X399 creation board. Uh, that guy's got some really beefy power delivery. We'll explain why in our full review. Um, just above that is the ASUS ROG Zenith Extreme. That board's been out for a bit, but we have a cool accessory for it, um, quite literally. I'll show you that in a second. And above that, is a liquid cooler from Enermax. It's the Liquitec 240 OC TR4, obviously a 240 millimeter liquid cooler. And then right above that is the cooling accessory for the ASUS board I mentioned. And at the top in that little white box is just a Samsung SSD to help us get the OS and benchmarks installed. So here's a quick look at the ASUS ROG Zenith Extreme X399 motherboard. Um, if you've seen this guy before, you'll notice this one has a heatsink installed right here. That doesn't come stock. That's actually part of this uh, ROG Zenith Extreme cooling kit. There's also a little fan included with some mounting hardware. This fan actually ends up getting mounted right about there to help cool this VRM heatsink. Because these new Threadrippers have up to 32 cores, they can pull a decent amount of power. And making sure you have good VRM RM cooling um, is an ideal solution, so ASUS came out with that for this board in preparation for the launch of AMD's second gen Ryzen Threadripper. And here's a quick look at the MSI Meg X399 Creation motherboard. So this is one of the newer boards that's coming out in preparation for second gen Threadripper. And uh, this guy is an absolute beast in terms of power delivery. 19 phase digital power circuitry with dual 8 pin uh, power connectors here for the CPU. Um, haven't had a chance to test it yet, but I have seen this board in action. Um, we're probably going to use this for our test bed, but we have much more to get to, so let me open the big box next. All right, what do you say we open this big boy together uh, live on camera? Let's see what's inside here. I'm not sure how smoothly this is going to go. I'm going to go gently just in case something is rattling around in there. So this guy's actually sticking to something. Here it goes. Whoa, and what have we here? So that kind of gives it away. Uh, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX, 32 cores, 64 threads. What is this thing here? Hold on a second. It's a couple of aluminum plates with some, oh, mine's broken, unfortunately. So some uh, plexiglass holding in the packaging with the new Threadripper CPU in there. Let's get this guy opened up. Before I get to opening the actual CPU, there was a couple more boxes underneath inside there. So inside one was this monstrous air cooler. This is the cooler that AMD and Cooler Master collaborated on for these uh, second gen Ryzen Threadripper processors. Big, massive air cooler. Um, it's lighted down the top and sides here. There was also some G-Skill memory that we will be testing with, but I'm sure you guys want to see this CPU. So let me get this absolute beast. Look at the size of that thing. So really dense array of heatsink fins. Bunch of heat pipes. I don't want to mess up that thermal paste. Bunch of heat pipes coming up into the heatsink array. Just a beast of a cooler. Has to weigh at least five, six pounds as well. All right, so there were a couple of plastic clips on either side holding this thing together. Then this whole piece lifts off. I'm assuming I did it right to reveal the new AMD Ryzen 2nd Gen Threadripper packaging. And this is actually pretty cool stuff. Let's rip it open and show you what's inside this. And here we have the 2nd Gen AMD Ryzen Threadripper packaging. Um, as you can see, very different than sort of the taller, rounder packaging of the original. Um, there's no LEDs or crazy lighting in here, but you can see the processor inside a little case right in there. Let me show you how to open this up now. As you can see, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX. This is the bad boy right here, 4.2 gigahertz max boost, 32 core CPU. Now to open it, 
rip right here. So we'll do that first. Oh, I'm sure I ripped more than I needed to, but all right, step one is done. Once you have the packaging ripped, there's a little lever here. We're gonna open this up and then the front slides open this way and the CPU is right inside here. Now getting the CPU out is just a, a click away. You pop this guy up here. Processor is inside. I'm sure this is what all of you have been dying to see. This is a 32 core AMD Ryzen second gen Threadripper processor in the same kind of tray. Works in the same X399 motherboards as the original, so same socket, same kind of tray and installation method. That is the beast right there. But what AMD also did with this packaging, should you want to display it, the inside also says AMD Ryzen Threadripper. So if you put this back together and pop it back in the package, at least it still says what was in there. So we have a ton of uh, building and testing to do to get our AMD second gen Ryzen Threadripper processor review published and posted in time for launch. So I'm going to start putting all this stuff together. For now, we hope you've enjoyed this quick look at all of the goodies we'll be looking at alongside AMD's new beast of a processor. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>